Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and extract a zip file or folder on your Windows XP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on the file or folder that you want to compress. So that's the first way we're going to do it. We're going to compress the folder and then we're going to extract it at the end just to do a complete tutorial here. So go ahead and right click on the folder you want to compress and then you want to select send to and then select compressed zip folder and give it a moment here. And you should see a folder on the desktop. There's a little zip icon that indicates that it is a compressed folder. And now if you want to extract it, the contents of said folder, just right click on it and select where it says extract all. And then you're going to get a little wizard pop up here. It says welcome to the compressed zipped folders extraction wizard. Select next. And now you can select a folder directory you want to extract the folder or files that con are contained within it to. So you want to save it to your desktop, your documents folder, or wherever, it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm just going to save it to my documents and I'm going to select OK and select Next. If there's a password on this folder, you may have to enter in the password here if there is any. So you have to go ahead and fill that in. And then you would select Next once you're done to go ahead and extract it to that directory. So if there was a lot of files and folders in there, they would see this progress bar for extracting. However, there was only one folder in this folder, and it's just called New Folder. So if we open up the Documents folder here, you should see that our new folder is in here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.